Good morning. Thank you all so much for coming to the Alabama Public Health third annual Share Your Smile with Alabama contest. Um, as I said, this is the third annual, so and every year it is a little bit different, and um, every year it's very exciting. So just a little bit about how this came about. When I first came to public health, I was told that there were two things that I had to concentrate on. First was a state oral health plan, which thank goodness is done. <laughs> um, we actually finished it in November, uh, this past November. And the second was to do something really big for Children's Dental Health Month. I started in October of 2017. Children's Dental Health Month is in February, so to do something really big, that's not a whole lot of planning time. But we managed to pull it off. We did a statewide smile contest. And so it grows a little bit each year, and I'm thrilled to death to, to be here so that we can announce this year's winners. Now, one of the things that we did differently this year is we, we tried movie ads to, to promote the contest. And I know that some people saw it because one of our winners, actually, that's how she found out about the contest. So, and you'll have a chance to meet her in just a minute. But um, that being said, some other people in the room have not had a chance to see the ad. So it's just a 30 second ad that ran in <clears throat> four different cities on 64 screens. It was in Huntsville, Alabaster, Trustful, and Mobile. And we have it um, so that those that haven't seen it can have a chance to see it. So if we could show that, that'd be great. The Alabama Department of Public Health's third annual Share Your Smile with Alabama contest is underway. It's open to third graders enrolled in public or private schools in Alabama and eight to 10 year olds in homeschool. The winners will be announced at the beginning of February in conjunction with National Children's Dental Health Month. The contest highlights the importance of preventative dental visits for children. Visit alabamapublichealth.gov slash oral health for rules and submission information. Now, as you saw at the very end of that commercial, it had the winners um, from last year. And so one of the things that will be sort of the prize for our this year's winners is, is that after we finish here, we're going to have a photo shoot and a video shoot. And the, the winners from this year will actually be in a 30 second ad announcing the winners um, in those same cities that will start on January the 31st. So that being said, I am going to turn it over at this point. Um, I will say this, we're very, very fortunate and thankful to have Dr. Scott Harris here. He's our state health officer, Dr. Mary McIntyre, who's our chief medical officer, and also Dr. Grace Thomas, who's the Bureau Director of Family Health Services, which is where the oral health office lies. So I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Harris, and he is going to give you a little bit of, of um, information about, um, about Children's Dental Health Month, about the, everything smile contest related. So, Dr. Harris. Thanks, Tony. Thank you very much, and thank you for being here. We're so excited to have you here today. This is a really exciting time for us. Um, each year, I uh, come to realize this is the, about the most fun thing I do all year, actually. Um, absolutely the most fun thing I'm gonna do uh, this week, I can tell you for sure. Um, but we're very, very happy that you're here. Uh, National Dental Health Month coincides with our smile contest, and we, we do that on purpose because we want to use this as an opportunity to publicize the importance of good uh, oral health. We want um, people to know that oral health is just part of health. It's not something separate, but you can't be healthy unless you have good oral health. Those go together, and we want people to think of those together. Your health includes your oral health as well as a number of other things as well. Uh, this year, uh, uh, th there's a campaign from the American Dental Association. They choose a theme each year for National um, Children's Dental Health Month, and the theme is fluoride in water prevents cavities. Get it from the tap. Um, it's interesting that they uh, want to recognize fluoride because this is actually in the year 2020, 75 years since uh, the first city in the world, Grand Rapids, Michigan, began fluoridating its water and adjusting its water levels for the purpose of improving people's oral health. 
um, scientists had realized for a long time that, that fluoride in water decreases cavities and was very important in improving oral health. And so it was just 75 years ago this year that the, the United States um, started to do this. And in fact, this city in Michigan became the first city in the world to do that. We know that tooth decay is, is one of the uh, most serious diseases and chronic diseases of childhood. Um, it, it's a big problem for all children over age six, and in fact, is the single most common chronic disease as well. Uh, and we know that w water fluoridation is one of the ways to prevent that. Additionally, to prevent tooth decay, just a few other reminders for you. Remember to brush twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste. Clean between your teeth daily with floss or an interdental cleaner. Eat nutritious and balanced meals and avoid snacking. Visit your dentist regularly for professional cleaning, for oral examinations, and applications of sealants. These are all ways to make sure that you improve your oral health and that will improve your overall health. So again, let me welcome you. Thank you again for being here. And at this time, I'm going to recognize Dr. Mary McIntyre, who's the Chief Medical Officer with Alabama Department of Public Health. I just want to say good morning to everybody once again and that I'm always excited to be a part of this. Um, the This is, as you've heard, the third annual and it has come, become one of those things that we love to actually participate in to see the winners. And we're going to introduce those winners this morning. I have the honor of actually introducing a very beautiful young lady with a beautiful smile that's going to come up for me. She's um, explained to me that how to pronounce her name, and it's Zaya, Miss Zaya Bell. Would you please come up? And turn around and let everyone see that beautiful smile. Turn around. All right. And this is for Miss <laughs> Zaya. She is one of our two winners, and it says the Alabama Department of Public Health Oral Health Office presents this certificate of award to Zaya Bell as the winner of the third annual Share Your Smile with Alabama 2020 Photo Contest. And this is all for you, Miss. <laughs> Can you hear it? Okay, let's do this. Put it back there. You got help? Okay. All right. Let me ask you. <laughs> there you go. Step back. All right. <laughs> I'm going to ask Dr. Grace Thomas to come up next. She's going to actually introduce you to our next winner. And she is the medical officer for the Family Health Services um, Bureau, and this is under which the actual oral health office falls. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's, it's such a delight to have you here. And this is a, it's a special um, day. And thanks to Dr. Johnson for bringing this to fruition every year. And it is my pleasure to introduce Master Bryson Williams, who is our second recipient. Come on up here, Bryson. I was hoping Bryson would wear his, um, his cowboy hat because he <laughs> had a cowboy hat on for his, um, for his picture that he sent in that was as wide as his smile. So we're delighted to have you here, and we've got a certificate for you and a bag of goodies as well. So you're going to have to turn around here and face the camera. Now. And this is for you. It says Alabama Department of Public Health Oral Health Office presents their certificate of award to Bryson Williams as the winner of the third annual Share Your Smile with Alabama 2020 fo photo contest. So congratulations. Yeah. You're going to be a rock star in Chambers County. <laughs> <laughs> and this is yours as well, OK? Can you carry all this in? Yeah. All right. Thank you. I think y'all can understand why we enjoyed this as much as we do. Um, the winners, not only will they be featured in the next ad, but they will, we were able to um, obtain a billboard within a mile of each of their schools. And so they will also be featured on the billboards in their hometowns and um, also the billboard across here from the RSA Tower. And there will be several other things that they become the, um, the, the poster children for as far as throughout the year for the oral health office. 
once again, thank y'all all so much for coming. And um, everybody can just give our winners a round of applause.